what's up guys what's going on what's happening what's popping welcome back to another great episode of smell with the sports car edition you guys obviously see i'm not in my studio but that means it's some breaking news because if i'm like if i'm ever doing a video like this in the car you know <laughs> it's breaking news and obviously i'm on the move it's friday night whatever whatever Y'all, we got some news. I can't even do my intro. Y'all already know. Turn your notification bells on. Shop the links down below. Buy me that coffee. Y'all know all the shit. I ain't even gonna get into that because we got some real shit to talk about. Shams has reported that the 76ers are closing in on a deal for James Harden. Now, I knew something... Fi okay. Okay. In the coming days, y'all, it's February 4th. The trade deadline is Thursday. They said in the coming days... The Sixers are closing in on a deal for James Harden. This has been talked about for since James since James won out of Houston. It has been talked about him coming to the 76ers. Obviously, he ended up going to the Nets and not the Sixers um, last season. And now he wants out of the Nets. Now, James Harden is obviously disgruntled because Kyrie Irving isn't playing. Kyrie Irving can only play on the road because he did not get the vaccine. And James Harden is basically like, I came to the Nets to play with Kevin Durant and Kyrie, and Kyrie ain't playing. So James wants out. Now, James Harden has, is obviously, like I said, we've discussed this several times, but now it seems like it's really happening, guys. They said in the coming days, usually when they say stuff like that, the, the shoe is going to drop any any moment now, this Ben Simmons shoe is going to drop, y'all. So, Ben Simmons is going to be out of Philly soon, y'all. No more are we going to be talking about 2-5. No more are we going to be talking about 25. Ben Simmons is going to be gone, y'all. It's like bittersweet. I mean, we've been through so much with Ben Simmons. He, he's been a headache for us. But at the same time, it's like... It's, it's, you know, it's like a bad, like a problem child, but it's still your child. You know, if it's like a bad kid or like if your little cousin being bad and then your little cousin getting on your nerves, but that's still your little cousin. That's still fam. So yes, I'm going to miss Ben Simmons. I mean, he's been with Philly since he's been in the league. He came out of college with an insane amount of hype. He still has an insane amount of potential. And if Ben Simmons goes somewhere, well, obviously to the Nets and balls out. Cause I'm assuming it's Ben Simmons we're trading. The only person we could trade is Ben Simmons, Tobias, and I highly doubt is Tobias. Um, but if Ben Simmons goes and, like, balls out and becomes the 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 guy that he has the potential to be, then it's going to be hard watching that, y'all. I can't even lie. It's going to be hard. Like, it's the same, like, with, with, with Carson Wentz. Like, Carson Wentz gave us hell at the end, but at the, at the same time, like, that's the guy we traded up for. That's the guy you know, who gave us some great seasons. So it's going to be tough seeing Ben actually gone, really gone. But James Harden, y'all, how do y'all feel about James Harden? Um, instant reaction, I definitely think James Harden's going to be a boost to this team, of course. But at the same time, is James, who are we going to have to trade? Like Ben Simmons and who? Like who else is getting traded in this package for James Harden? That's my biggest question. Like, um... Who are we going to have to give up? And then also, do y'all think that James Harden is enough to make this a championship team? Do y'all think... I mean, I think so, because what are we missing? Like, the, the way Joel and B has been playing on his mind, if we have that consistent shooter around Joel and B, like we know James Harden is, because Seth Curry has been wishy-washy, and Seth Curry has been hurt a lot. Cork Moss has been hurt. So if we have that consistent bucket, that consistent bucket, that true closer... Y'all, the Sixers are going to be... I think that that's enough. I, I definitely think... I know some of y'all don't think James is enough, but I do. Look how we're playing just with Joel and Bede. Imagine if we add a James Harden to the backcourt. Tyrese Maxey and James Harden? If Tyrese Maxey keeps dominating like Tyrese Maxey has been dominating? This is just a lot to process. Because like I said, we've been doing this dance with Ben Simmons and Ben Simmons trade rumors for a long time. Y'all know I've been dancing, doing this Ben Simmons trade rumor dance for a long time. But now the shoe is about to drop. The shoe is about to drop. It's James Harden. My only thing is, if James Harden does not win, James Harden has been really 
he's been bouncing around teams. Like he, he's been bouncing around a little bit, a lot of bit lately. So it's kind of like if James comes here and he doesn't win in one year, is he going to want out too? Because he's, he's, he, you see, he keeps sitting out for the net. So he really is kind of giving the vibe that he is ready to leave the nets because it's just games where he's late scratches for the games and whatnot. So I don't know if James Harden is going to be long-term, but we'll see y'all. The shoe's about to drop. It's about to drop.